Alright, day three, loop day. It's only 160, 170 k's today, so pretty short and easy. Gonna go get some breakfast. Certainly a view and a half this place. Breakfast is done. 7.30 roll out. There's like three three different tracks we could do today. There's a, a one kilometre shitty sandy track, apparently. Uh, I think an 11k technical track. And a 150 or 170k um, scenic track. So we're going to go do the... <coughs> going to go do the big one first. If we've got time, might have a look at the technical track on the way back. See ya! to Keep River National Park. Speed hop out here. Pretty impressive. Getting all excited about a dip for no reason. Okay, half an hour stop, just had a puncture. All fixed, pretty quick and easy. Oh, there's no dust. We got a nice little window now, assuming you get, get on the bike quick. Nah. Scotty was about half an hour, so maybe he's the sweep. Ah, okay, yep, yep. It'll be like we were never here. Sorry? It'll be like we were never here.
a big rock. Flew the drone. And I've lost Scott already. 36 degrees. So pretty out here. Look at that. It feels hard, but out just coming out of there, it was just like, whoa, I'm like, oh, fuck. Is that a puncture or is that the plug? That's the plug. So. No, that's a screw somewhere else. Stop over there or? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, just got to the end of the track and the tyre felt a bit off. Found another tack screw in the tyre. Another flat tyre. Alright. Oh. That sweat cooling down feels fantastic. Oh, the views. Views on views on views. I think so. That must be the tra tech trail. Do you want to go back or? It's 10 past 12. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go back and get changed then? Yeah, no, I've just seen the other boys sitting in the little spa bath down there. Yeah, I saw that. That looks good. Looks refreshing. It's come back on. Ah. 35 PSI.
she dug in there. I thought we were going to get to the water. No. I can't believe that twice in the space of a couple of minutes. There was it looked like wire. It looked like you had wire on the back sprocket, but it was just straw. Oh, you okay? No, it's just straw. Oh, right. Did you want to go have a look? What? Not if it's sandy. Not if it's full of sand. Oh, I got two flat tyres. No, what ride did you do? Did you do all of it? No, we only did no, the really. long one. Well, we, yeah. we turned off a couple of tracks, not sure if they were the ones just on the way back and rode down those for a bit. Were they marked? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, just where the swamp is <laughs> back there. Do you need well. some tech support? No, no, we plugged them. Okay. Cool. So, it's all good. good. Happy days. Um, what times? The, the tracks. Is that sandy? So the middle one, further the one, the one with the red marks. More sandy. Yeah. And then there's another shorter one about a k and a half from here. It's a bit more techo. Uh, Rocky and sandy, a bit of sand. I can't be fucked. <laughs> too yeah, warm. It's too hot. Tomorrow's a pretty cool day. Um, we're through to El Crestro. We're going to pull into Emma Gorge. That's where we've got lunch organised as well. Leave window will be 7.30 to 8. Breakfast at 7. Leave window 7.30 That's to 8. Good. We've got 149 k's from here to Emma Gorge. One, one and a bit k walk in or each way. So two return, give or take. But the walk is pretty spectacular. The, the end result is pretty spectacular. So it's well worth it. What we would say for the walk, it's not a walk you're going to do in a pair of thongs, you need shoes. So after Ember Gorge, as far as route goes, just to, to cover that off, it's bitumen all the way there, it's then still bitumen to the driveway of El Questro. So we actually start on the Gibb River Road tomorrow, but it's still bitumen. When we turn off into the driveway to El Questro, it's about 16 kilometre driveway, dirt driveway, um, with water crossing. All right. How was today? A little bit different. Everyone have a good day. Yeah. I did not see one single skid mark off the road.